Over in Midland, the American Legion Post 119 took time to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Tyler Dupnik shows you why they vow to never forget. Remembering, honoring, and preserving. We have World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, the Desert Storm. That's what all of these represent. Memorial Day is special. Thinking about the, the men and women for 240 plus years who have been willing to give their lives, honoring their legacy, their heritage, and then preserving that. Really, it's about the next generation. Congressman August Pfluger, who actively served in the Air Force for nearly 20 years, says it's about teaching the next generation the opportunity this day provides. But today, we're here to honor those who actually paid that ultimate sacrifice, who laid down their lives in the defense of this flag, in the defense of freedom, in the defense of liberty, in the defense of the things that establish this country as the greatest country on earth. Galen Bach is the adjutant for Post 119, a Vietnam veteran, and an advocate for patriotism. There's so many that served, so many that fought for our country, and our founding fathers and what they had, their dreams and stuff, and we just need to honor all of that. And that's what I feel like that I'm trying to do, trying to make sure that it never gets forgotten. And with the 80th anniversary of D-Day on June 6th, now might be more important than ever to remember all who have served our country. That set the world up for freedom. It set the world up to say, we're not gonna give in to authoritarianism, to the Nazi leadership. We are going to stand up, we're gonna fight. And D-Day, 80 years later, still represents that greatest generation, what they did for our country, and quite frankly, what they did for our world to say that freedom and liberty will win out over the rest of the other types of authoritarianism. Tyler Dupnik, News West 9, Midland.